Whoa, is this a read? <laughs> yes, it is. Let me tell you why. Why sell? Well, you got the lovers. Let's discuss this one first. It's a good card, right? First card is from you met a soulmate, you love them. Like it was amazing. Connection, chemistry, the works. It's one of those connections, you just feel it, you know it, and then it's just like there's just so much in it. Okay. And you're learning as you date this person or so you're building a relationship with them. Okay. So how do I know that this is your reading? Okay. One is this card. And then the next card is that they rejected all those things. What, Sam? What is the Four of Cups? So you tried to approach them from your heart space, telling them you love, you care for them, and you got rejected. Four of Cups. Story of a Pisces. What happened? Let's see. Okay, Pisces. Don't worry. There's some good news, I'm sure. And one of the good news is people be dying for a free horoscope. So we're giving away which I will talk more about also in our app, available in Apple and Android. Download it, turn the notification on, yes. I'm going to talk about it a little bit later. How to get a free horoscope for March. And I know you guys want that horoscope. Yes, so we're giving it for free. Later, I'll talk. Knight of Cups right here. Mm -hmm. High Priestess, Ace of Cups, okay. So it's giving, right? When you want it, they don't. And then when they want you, you don't. So it's a back and forth kind, it's a runner chaser, okay? So that's something good. No, no, the runner is not good. But the part where there is a, uh, there is reciprocity, but it's never when you want it. There is care, but it's never when you want it. When you need this person, oh boy, you can count on this person. Far from counting, yeah. You can count sheep all day and night and you won't hear from them. So you feel basically um, rejected, right? So... I'm seeing here where the Knight of Cups and then the High Priestess and the Ace of Cups is more of like a like a tease kind of thing with the Knight of Cups and the High Priestess. It's it, you're you're also like taking a step back because you're telling yourself, like, yeah, you know what? When I'm always you know goo goo gaga over the connection, they don't you know. So the intimacy is stronger because there's something missing, right? Um, Normally, like, you know, like missing, you miss someone and the intimacy is stronger, right? Because you see each other every day, you know, it kind of uh, fizzles out at least, you know, to a certain degree than just seeing a person for, you know. So this is what I'm seeing here. It kind of worked, but not, you know, and you can get tired of this because it's a genre chaser. You know, the excitement is there, the thrill is there, but it can be a younger water sign also that you're connecting with, a Gemini or a Pisces, and then there's a Scorpio. And this is how the connection goes, all okay? right? So it's kind of unstable also. Ooh, death card. Yeah. May not work for you. Okay. So, um, hmm. Got a death card, page of cups, and the three of cups right here. Your person is trying to say that they're sorry. You know, they haven't been, you know, like, I feel like they're with friends and doing all these things and they forgot. I don't know if it's an anniversary because that's why you feel like rejected with the Four of Cups and the Three of Cups because there was a reunion right there. And then the Death card here is like, you want things to change, right? So it gets tiring when the relationship that you are cultivating or nourishing here keeps going back to square one because it's around a chaser. It's never really got, got anywhere, you know, because every time you want it, they run away. You know, and then zero again. So you start again all over. And this is what you want to change. Queen of Pentacles with the Wheel of Fortune is like you're being practical also. You're telling yourself here, it's like, uh, you know, it's like I need someone who can get, who's ready to settle. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a Sag you're connecting with or a Capricorn. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm, judgment. Mm -hmm. Six of Pentacles. With the seven from points. So it's giving right now, you're going to lay down the level, right? Judgment, six of pentacles, and the seven of ones. You're going to tell your person here that, yeah, no more, not happening, not at all. Because mm. with, you know, with regards to your person, it's like you want them to give it, you know, you want to give them a wake up call at this point. Yeah. So the frustration is for real. And now you're saying with the seven of ones, you know, Rahu in the seventh, uh, sorry, Rahu in the first house for you, K2 in the seventh. And that's a reason why you're getting kind of like stressed here, you know. And K2 in the seventh, of course, is a choking point. It can be very, very frustrating. Uh, you know, the relationship can be very dry. There is no romance with K2. 
it's a straight honest relationship and it's not about romance at all there's nothing romantic with ketu it's a planet of liberation it's a moksha karka it's a uh, you know it does give soulmate of course which you have your the lovers card so this is definitely a past life connection now if you're going to ask me so since when this uh, you know this transit is it's since um, since october last year and it transits 18 months i believe from each sign yeah so you'll be dealing with this person for time and time again i feel like for a lifetime so this is a soulmate union that never becomes a union actually and that's why you're saying with the seven of wands you know it's like i cannot continue and you're really reinforcing it seven of wands with a judgment and then you get a six of pentacles it's like you're not gonna settle for those chump change the breadcrumbs you know that's not enough that's not enough to build what you want basically because the queen of pentacles needs to settle so now you're basically say, you know putting the pressure and then you know basically we'll see if your person's gonna change some crystals just don't work with your sign if you're tired that your crystals are not working the way that you would like to well i'm a crystal expert and i made specific double piao crystal bracelet just for your sign get yours right now at eatreadlove.me if your person is going to change right mm. so let's see okay right we want to see that and one thing that you want to see of course is the biggest change in your relationship mm -hmm. one thing that i made the sure this coming march is that i deliver your own zodiac base a double piao crystal bracelet is available now and this is the one that i was talking about that comes with a free march horoscope yes it comes with the free horoscope when you order this you add this to your cart which we ship to more than 80 countries across the globe this is free shipping in the u.s you get a free horoscope directly to your email so go check it out now it is based on your uh in your in your sun sign for the horoscope because i know you guys like that but i do say dear astrology though okay so go check it out and i'm only doing it today because i didn't know march is in a couple of days okay <laughs> so go get it okay so let's see here. Oh, the PO, of course, it's, you know, all 12 signs will have different because I wanted it to work for what you're manifesting for love, relationship, career, healing, and protection. So all those are going to be factored in with that crystal specifically for your sign. Okay. You got a Queen of Wands here, the Knight of Pentacles, and the King of Swords. Ooh, you're getting more confident, actually. You are very much demanding now. You got tired. You want things to stop, Knight of Pentacles. You're very confident, Queen of Pentacles, that I don't need to talk to this person anymore, King of Swords, until, because the Queen of Pentacles here and the King of Pentacles, they look at each other, right? Oh, well, they're supposed to look at each other. Until basically your person matures up and then see the situation and see the relationship the way that you want it. That's the judgment work. That's a K2 in that seventh, and that K2 in the seventh, that's going to cut anybody off if they're, you know, one, if the fulfillment of karma is done, right, with the judgment, is it going to go together, you know, split or together, basically? Well, a very good news, basically, for you here is I am here every day. So tomorrow we'll touch the subject again. Visit our website, eatreadlove.me. I'm only doing the free horoscope today because, again, the March is coming. I'll see you guys again.